Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I imported this OBJ T-Rex into trap code form. So we're going to start by going to turbosquid.com. Um, they have 3D models available. And under the search field, I'm going to search T-Rex. And it is free to join. Um, they have a lot of available 3D models that you can purchase. Um, there are some free 3D models available, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So when you search T-Rex, we have all these options available. But under sort, I'm going to choose lower prices. And the first one that pops up is this T-Rex, which is free to download. And it's by Joel 3D. So I'm going to download this FBX file. And the royalty free license is right below the download, so you can read that if you have any questions. And um, now I have my 3D file downloaded, which has all my 3D elements for my T-Rex. So now we are in Blender, which is a 3D software that's available online. And this is where we're going to import our FBX file that we downloaded online. Um, so when you open up Blender, um, the default setting is this cube. So what we're going to do is, on the right-hand side, we're going to select the cube. And then on the left-hand side, under Remove, we are going to delete the cube so it doesn't show up. So now we're ready to import our FBX file. So we're going to start by going to File, Import, and then select FBX. And then we're going to go to our FBX folder and select the file, the Trex by Joel 3D file, and import that into Blender. So as you can see, the 3D model is very small, so I'm just going to scale this. So I'm going to select the Scale button, and I'm just going to move my mouse and scale this up. So now really what we're just going to do is export this as an OBJ. So we're going to go to File, Export, and then you select Wavefront OBJ. And um, before I actually export it, I'm going to create a new folder. So just to keep it organized, so my OBJ files in the same folder. And I'm just going to rename my folder. OBJ T-Rex and now I'm going to go back to Blender and now I'm going to select my file folder that I just created and select export OBJ and that's all we're going to do in Blender so we exported our OBJ file and now we're going to quit Blender And now we're ready to go into Adobe After Effects. So I'm just going to open up Adobe After Effects. So now we're in Adobe After Effects, and what we're going to do is create a new composition. So I'm just going to double click the new composition, and I'm going to name this T Rex. And I'm just going to make it 1920 by 1080 and make it a 10 second duration. And then I'm going to create a new solid, which is going to be my background layer. So just layer new solid. And now I'm going to create another layer, layer new solid. And this is going to be our form layer. And then go to Effect, Trap Code, Form. And now under Base Form, I'm going to select the OBJ model. And I'm going to choose OBJ. And now, as you can see on the top here, you can add a new OBJ. And before I add it, I'm actually going to rename this. And I'm just going to name this T-Rex. So this is the T-Rex that we just exported from Blender. And now we're going to be adding it to our OBJs in Adobe After Effects under uh, trap code form. 
And now I'm just going to select the T-Rex OBJ and click open. And now you can see that the T-Rex has been added to my OBJs, so I can select that and click OK. And now our T-Rex is in our composition. So now on the left hand side, I'm just going to bring up the size. And I'm going to rotate the Y rotation so that you can see the full T-Rex from the side. And under base form, under OBJ settings, I'm going to bring down the particle density. So I'm just going to drop this down to 25. And then under um, particle, I'm going to bring down the size to 1. And you can adjust the opacity depending on um, the look that you're going for. So I'm just going to bring the opacity up a little bit. And then you can set the color. So under color, you can change to radial, or you can um, change over X. And there's a different presets that you can choose from. And that's it as far as getting the OBJ file into a um, trap code form. I'm just adding a audio file of a dinosaur growling. And under audio react, I'm going to choose the audio file. And I'm just changing uh, reactor one to particle size. And that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, um, please subscribe and comment below. Thank you so much for watching.